Alright guys, uh, today this is still Epsilon website. Um, welcome to my channel. Now today I'll be looking into um, arithmetic progression and how to solve some little question on it. Now the, like the question we have on the board here said, find the sum of all the numbers between zero and uh, two o seven, which are exactly divisible by three. Now what we said, find the number between a zero, okay, and what? 207 this is 207 now we're actually talking about finding and they said that is divisible by what three so now when we have this now there are just some easy things i want to show you some easy tricks to this kind of questions now we said that once you are given that a number that are exactly divisible by three now when you have divisible by three that is to say the first number should be what three in this case the first time is always what three now once you get the first time to be 3 and you know that after 3 the next number should be 6 and then followed by 9 that is number that is visible by 3 so it's another trick to know that your common difference will also be what 3 so in this sort of questions once you're given this kind of question to solve know it that your first term your a is going to be 3 and your common difference is going to be 3 if you are given divisible by maybe let's say 4 here then your a is going to be 4 and your common difference is going to be 4 so that's just a simple trick there now let's look at this now we're given the question to find the sum okay numbers between 0 and 207 which are exactly divisible by 3 now there is a uh, what we call there is this formula we have in arithmetic progression s of n formula we have it to be this is the first one a plus open bracket this n minus 1 close bracket d okay this is the first formula we have of s of n and we have the next one that is s n we have it to be n over 2 open bracket 2a plus open bracket n minus 1 close bracket what d so this is the second formula so now looking at the terms now we don't have a number of terms up here in the question so we're not going to make use of this formula here so this formula is hereby not needful we're not going to use this formula so we're going to head straight to use uh, the first formula for the sum that is this formula here so how do we substitute now we already have the first term is this our common difference is this and then the last term now we're given that is 207 so now let's replace it so here we have it to be what 3 plus open bracket and we don't know our n so it's n minus 1 and then we have what 3 as a common difference it's now equal to what 200 and what 7 that is the last term so from here we'll do little multiplication let's have this out let's solve it first this now 3 times n here gives us what 3n Meanwhile, 3 times minus 1 gives us what? Minus what? 3 is equal to 200 and what? 7. So this is exactly what we should have. Now from this point, the only thing now is to cancel out 3, 3. We have this, we got 3n is equal to 200 and what? 7. So this n is now equal to 207, okay? Divide by 3. If 207 divided by 3, we're going to be left with uh, 40 is it 48.5 something like this let's calculate it sorry uh that is uh 69 i mean yes yeah, so we're gonna get 69 so having this 69 now that is telling you that what this is now the number of terms okay this is your n the n is now the number of terms so what is this trying to tell us now now from here we are to know now that what we have we need what 69 terms the numbers that are divisible by three between zero and what 207 are just 69 of them 69 terms so now it's more like uh, let's stress ourselves a little you have something like this let's say and look at all the uh, if i to type all those things now we we'll have it to be like this so these are all the numbers we had even were to use let's say let's just be adding 333 we're going to have all these numbers and if we count them we'll go to, we'll, no, we'll notice that they are all 69 numbers you understand but this method is very this one is uh more tougher and i don't expect this is not uh expected but we are to use this type because this one is just a formula and the formula gives us direct answer so if we want to count these numbers one after the other we'll have 69 but here we just need formula and we'll get the 69 words so now let's look at the next thing now we are not just asked to find the n but the sum now so let's get the sum now the sum of this number now is gotten from this s of n to be this what n all over 2 open bracket 2a plus this is what n minus 1 close bracket d then close the bracket 
okay now because we have our s of our n now this is the number of terms given now we have the, we have gotten it so now we have our number of terms is what 69 so we have this word, s of 69 s of 69 is now equal to 69 divided by 2 open bracket this is now 2 multiplied by our a we got our we have our a to be what 3 so our a here is what 3 close bracket this is plus open bracket this is our n is 69 uh 69 minus 1 then our d is what the same three okay now if we simplify this we notice uh that if we have 69 divided by 2 we're going to be having 34.5 here that is 34.5 we multiply it into this uh, 3 times 2 is 6 plus into this 68 now then multiply by what 3 we close the final bracket okay so here now this is our s of 69 is now equal to now if we simplify this over here our final answer is going to be um seven two four five right this is seven two four five so this seven two four five is more like because we're talking about sum of all those numbers there it's more like um, let's have this number here so it's more like adding up a total of this uh, number here this is a number all these numbers we have here in the first place so now if we add this number now let's use calculator and work this out let's see now let's work this out calculator and see which one gives us the um, easier way out let's know which one gives us the easier way out. now let's add up all these numbers here now let's add it here now these are all the numbers adding up now and then the final answer is going to be what 7245 as we have it over here so now if you look at it now you notice that which one is now the easier method is it to add all these things until you get to the final one that is 69 numbers or to just use the formula now when you look at it very well you notice that formula gives us what the exact thing we look for in shortest time and we solve it and get our answer correctly so thanks for watching this video this is actually any website dude feel free to subscribe thank you